Hi, this is Johannes from Soundtrap, and I'm here to walk you through my Tinashe Rave Edit. So let's dive right in. Okay, you got the project, and before we go into the nitty gritty of this edit, um, let's maybe listen to the best part, which I think is the build up to the breakdown to the second chorus. <laughs> The sample that started it all is uh, this vocal loop by Tinashe. Um, let's have a quick listen to that. When I pop out, you can feel the pressure. Got in the persona, no one on the cancer. And I love the R&B vibe about that sample. Um, so and it was clear to me at that point that I wanted to do something like a garage track. Maybe some kind of a two-step track, something that that it leans a bit into R&B. What I ended up with is more. It's quite fast actually. It's at like 160 BPM this track, so it's more in the realm, I guess, of drum and bass maybe. But it's 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 much ravier than that, and that's why why I call it the rave edit. So I started building that track um, by laying out the song structure first. So sometimes I like to do that because it just gives me some structure to work with. Um, so I have several song sections here that I can basically fill with content. And I already have a structure to follow. And it's also it's a great way to collect ideas and to collect like different, different um, ideas around, like maybe the chorus or the intro, and then mix and match them. Um, so this is how I approached it. And maybe we can dive into the intro and see how I build up the beat and the bass line. So let's go. So the intro starts with a quite distorted bass, I think. Um, and the beat is, is quite minimal. It's, it's, it has this like two-step character. It's basically just a kick, a snare, and then you have like eight or 16 hi-hats going through that. Um, every eighth bar, I introduce a transition or like a little fill. Um, and I just do this to like add some more variation to that quite minimal um, sequence that is going and what I love about the fill in that in that case is that it moves in panorama it moves from right to left and that's just a nice technique that opens up the mix quite quite nicely like the stereo field 
and yeah it, it just like makes the mix a little bit wider um, the fills also have a lot of reverb and delay on them so which is another technique to just like widen the stereo field um, as you might hear here I have uh, an automation on that main synth line and that is basically the main melody that I'm slowly introducing that transitions into, a, into the chorus where I introduce another synth line that is similar to the one that we're hearing here um, that basically is the main theme that goes through the entire track. So let's maybe listen to the transition between the intro and the chorus and then we can see also how the, how the fills play out and how I use a couple of other vocal one shots from Tenashe um, that just support the rhythm and give a bit more like a, uh, give a bit more ambience to it or like texture to it. Right, so here at bar 49, which is quite late in, in, the, in the track or in the, in the entire like, composition, I introduce the main vocal sample. Um, and then I quickly uh, transition into the build-up already. So in this case, the song structure is quite compressed. Um, but I just wanted to give like a nice round trip, um, introducing the bass line, introducing the beats, into the main melody, the main theme, then a, a, a build-up that, that has quite a lot of tension back into the chorus. So the, the whole composition is quite minimal. Um, so again, here in the, in the transition to the, to the build-up, I use some rising noise. I use several fills um, with a lot of delay, a lot of reverb, and they echo into the build-up where I take everything back, basically where I, I make room to create that tension. And I guess the, the main star of the show is this synth line here um, that is evolving and, and building up the entire tension, getting support from the bass later on, um, breaks down and goes back into the second chorus. And I use this excellent synthesizer that is uh, quite new which is called RetroSynth 84. Um, and I have a, another automation that uh, I have on the filter cutoff. And this supports building up the tension. So let's have a listen again. Um, let's have a listen on, uh, to the transition into that uh, build up. transition into the chorus again and the second chorus is not that different from the first chorus it just introduces some new uh, percussive elements um, let me quickly zoom in like this percussion loop 
and also and also some more uh, hi hats. And they should just support the rhythm. But going back to the main synth line and the build up, this is basically the same melody or the same harmonic movement that I have throughout the track. It's just a different apeggio that I'm playing here, um, which is quite nice. So let's listen to the second chorus. Uh, halfway through the second chorus, I'm introducing another uh, supportive melody. And in this case, I'm just using the main melody. I transpose it up an octave and I have slight rhythmic variation. I have those triplets that are playing there. Um, and this is just to keep the tension throughout the second chorus, right? It's basically the same as, as the first chorus, but I'm just trying to keep the, the tension going. Um, and then I'm already in the, intro, uh, in the outro, which is very similar to the intro. I'm just slowly taking out the elements of the composition until I'm left with the bass and the beat, basically. Throughout the entire composition, I'm using several vocal one-shots from Tenache. Some are supporting the harmony or the main melody, others are more uh, mixed in a way that they are more like textures and others are more rhythmic, right? Like in this case, for example, you can hear this OK sample, which is basically coming in every eight, feet, uh, every eight bar. Um, and it's supporting, like through its rhythmic structure, it's supporting the rhythm once more. <laughs> Right, and that's about it. That's the Tenashi Rave Edit. Um, you can listen to the entire project on Soundtrap. And yeah, have fun creating with Tenashi. Bye.